shaders! In this video, we are going to discuss why shaders are so complex, how they affect your games, compare the scripting and node-based approaches, and most importantly, I will show you a much faster and easier way to create shaders. But wait, before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button to receive more content from me. Shaders are a crucial tool for game developers, allowing them to create stunning visuals that bring games to life. In addition to adding color, texture, shadows and other effects to game elements, they can also simulate the way light behaves in different environments, such as underwater or in a forest. Whether you are working on a realistic scene or a cartoon-style game, shaders are crucial in producing the desired visual effects. But guess what? Creating shaders is not for the faint of heart. Believe me, I've explored various techniques, and most of them involve diving into complex mathematical concepts that may leave you feeling overwhelmed. Let me introduce two main approaches. The first, and arguably the most challenging option, is shader scripting. It's an entirely different world compared to C-Sharp, and only the most skilled individuals possess the knowledge to create stunning shaders using HLSL scripts. But for most developers, even the simplest shader script can be a head-spinning experience. And when it comes to crafting complex shaders with formulas for light and transformation, it's like navigating a maze with no end in sight. That's crazy! Fortunately, there are node-based systems now available that have made shader integration more accessible than ever before. These systems, like Shader Graph and Amplify Editor, offer an easier interface and faster integration. You no longer have to learn a new programming language, because you can create shaders by simply connecting nodes together and see results in runtime. Even with availability of node-based systems, the creation process still requires a strong understanding of mesh construction, light interaction, transformation methods and mass formulas. But what if you're short on time? Are there any quicker ways to improve your game graphics without getting overwhelmed by the complexities of shader creation? Yes, yes and yes, the answer is Tunicolors Pro! Its built-in shaders offer plenty of stunning settings, but its real standout feature is the shader generator, which lets you create an endless array of custom effects just by toggling checkboxes. As someone who has been using this asset for years, I can attest for its game-changing capabilities. Tunicolors Pro 2 is designed to be used with built-in and URP forward rendering, providing a highly adaptable solution for creating a diverse range of cartoon-style visuals. Let's explore the possibilities that this plugin provides, starting with the Hybrid Shader, which is a pre-made shader that offers a range of possibilities that I will demonstrate to you. First, let's talk about the control it provides for shadows. Have you ever felt that your shadows are too dark? And when you try to adjust your lighting to make them better, the entire scene looks worse. With Tunicolors Pro, you have incredible control over shadows, making it easier to achieve the look you want. That's not all, the hybrid shader also includes features such as specular highlight, outlines, band shading, rim, matcap, normal maps, occlusion and emission. That's a lot of options to work with. But hold on, Tunicolors Pro doesn't just stop at the pre-made shader, they have something even better, Shader Generator. This tool allows you to create brand new shaders from scratch, designed to your specific needs. With the generator, you can select the features you want and configure them through the Properties tab, providing endless possibilities for your game's graphics. In addition to all the features of the pre-made hybrid shader, you can also add water effects, silhouette, vertex displacement, layers and so much more. Let me demonstrate how shaders can transform a scene, using this dungeon breach as an example. While the assets themselves are impressive, the overall look is lacking a certain something. The shadow colors seem off, and the absence of fog is noticeable. Let's walk through the process, step by step. Begin by giving your new shader a unique name and specifying its folder path. Generate the shader and update it on your objects to see the changes take effect. Now it's time to fine-tune the shadows to your liking. This process is a breeze with Tunicolors Pro. But don't worry if you realize you forgot to add fog. The tool's power really shines here. You can easily modify existing shaders created within the generator before. Simply link it to the current shader field and you are ready to start modifying it. Let's enable vertical fog checkbox and click update. That's it, a new effect added to your previous shader. Adjust the fog color, white position and smoothness to your desired settings. 
With just a few clicks, your scene will look way better, thanks to Tunicolors Pro user-friendly interface. There is much more possibilities than just its vertical fog feature. This tool has saved me countless hours of work, and I strongly recommend it to anyone looking to streamline the shader creation process. And the last one, I'm grateful for the overwhelming response to my previous video about Dutwin. Your support means a lot for me, and it motivates me to create more content. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel to stay updated on the latest videos. Cheers!